So I'm Ruth, uh, Ruth Moss, and I'm the Wildlife Monitoring Officer for Herefordshire, um, so Turner Stone Court Farm and Ornells. So a really good uh, what, a sort of volunteer conservation project is coppicing. Now this can be in woodland habitats or um, along riverbanks in what we call riparian habitats. Um, and this is basically where you cut down the trees or shrubs to ground level and it allows light to get in and sort of helps um, undergrowth vegetation to, to grow. Um, and then the cut off um, wood from this, you can then use in another volunteer project, um, which is sort of like a bioengineering thing called a faggot revetment. And this helps to prevent erosion and sort of mitigate the impacts of flooding um, along a riverbank or, or a brook in this case, where it would be. Um, and this is basically where you use sort of small diameter wood um, and bundle it all together and then pack it along the bank behind um, sort of thicker stakes um, yeah and it's sort of like a barrier um, against water. There's um, like the wildlife monitoring volunteering so if you're sort of got an interest and a bit of no background knowledge about I don't know maybe botany or a specific species or you're part of a, um, a wildlife group um, then definitely get in touch. Um, it'd be great to have, you know, extra people that would would like to get involved with maybe surveying or sort of monitoring side of things as well as like the just general conservation volunteering. So the faggot revetment would, um, so by stopping erosion um, or sort of minimising it, you're reducing the amount of silt that goes into the water and that um, when silt goes into water, it makes it more turbid, which has negative consequences for aquatic plants and animals. You know, it like reduces the amount of photosynthesis that can happen. Um, so it has all sorts of like negative effects. It creates a habitat in itself. Like it's really good for um, creating shelter and shade for arthropods like insects and um, small mammals. So you'd need bow saws to chop down the, um, the branches and loppers, um, also mallets to when you make the wooden stakes to, to hammer them in in place. Um, but that's really all you need, like there's not a lot of um, heavy duty equipment needed. Um, I'd say go for it, definitely give it a go. It's such a good way of um, sort of contributing to conservation and if you're interested in helping wildlife in your local area then it's a great opportunity for that um, you get such a good sense of like purpose and um, you learn so much as well like you learn lots of new skills and you meet new people um, and it's also such a positive atmosphere like I, I've volunteered in various places and you're working with you know like-minded people it's it's a good it's a good laugh definitely and um, good for mental health as well and well-being.